This next rug that Z is showing me is a gorgeous antique carabao. Yeah. So it's unusual, Z, in that, first of all, carabaos don't always have this nice color. I mean, they're very uh, saturated, very rich. Also, carabao usually comes in long and narrow Kelly size. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an unusual size for carabao also. Uh, but the colors are beautiful. Then again, you know more about these rugs than me. I don't know about that, Zia. You certainly handle a lot more rugs than I do. And that helps. I think Uncle Jimmy Kashishian used to say it's easy to be an expert about oriental rugs. You just have to feel 10,000 of each kind. <laughs> That's true. You're one of the few people who may get to 10,000 of each kind. This rug has some uh, animal figure we have on top. Yes. I like the the airbrush and the green which is mm -hmm. so beautiful. Yes. And the airbrush and the discoloration in the in the background color variation of blue. Mm -hmm. From light blue to navy to regular blue. Yes. It doesn't always Especially. look look this attractive, but this one it looks just right. The color worked out beautifully. You know, when we look at, uh, at a brush like this, one of the things that we have to keep in mind is that this, this rug would represent the entire wealth of a family for more than a year. This was a substantial investment, which means that the woman would, would get wool and dye it a little bit at a time. It wouldn't all be in the same dye batch. So consequently, over time, fading affects the wool differently. And we can see where that may be two separate batches of green, the way it's, it's dyed. It also may be di difference in how well the wool was scoured before the dye was applied. There's so many factors that go into this. Sometimes it works out that the rug just doesn't look right. Other times, like this one, the rug looks fantastic.